Hey guys, I'm Dr. Paul Monsanja from Amara Aesthetics in Dublin and in London. And today's video is about Bruce Jenner slash Caitlyn Jenner and the facial analysis. So if you've been living under a rock for the last couple of months, you may not have heard about um, Bruce Jenner's amazing transformation to Caitlyn Jenner. There have been several TV shows and specials about it. The amazing thing for me about the transformation is how quick and how feminine uh, his face has become. Uh, and it brings up some interesting questions about how do you uh, change someone's face from male to female and what's the difference between a male and female face? This is a very important question to think about when it comes to doing fillers for men because for most men they don't want to have a feminizing result. They want their face to remain more masculine. So it's interesting because sometimes some women might want to look more feminine and some men might want to look more masculine. So how exactly do we do that? So looking at the first set of pictures you can kind of see that there's a really dramatic difference between before and after. Looking at the pictures before you can see that Bruce has a much more square jaw and uh, when you look at the side of his face it goes down in a straight line and then a across like a square whereas when you look at Caitlyn Jenner's pictures um, she has much wider cheeks and much narrower jawline. There are several ways to do this which I've outlined in my blog post uh, if you click in the link below. The main way to make this kind of difference is by using filler in the cheeks and to widen the cheeks. Also you can use Botox to narrow the jaw. Using Botox uh, weakens the masseter muscles at the side of the mouth. They're the muscles that you use when you chew. If you clench your teeth tight you'll feel those muscles. Botox can actually narrow that which is a very popular treatment in particular people with more of a square shape to their face. This picture shows the difference between men and women's uh, facial ideals. So the, the first picture shows the ideal for a woman which shows again a wider cheek and a more narrow jaw. The second picture shows that in a man's case uh, we aim for a more straight and square facial shape. So uh, often men will get a treatment in here where you actually widen the jaw very slightly um, to give a more uh, chiseled and defined look. We try not to put too much filler out here for men because if you widen there it can be quite feminizing. So unless that's what a man is looking for, uh, we don't do that. The final thing, the final difference that I can see between Bruce Jenner and Caitlyn Jenner is the difference in the eyebrows. And that's the main difference in male and female facial anatomy. Men tend to have lower set and more forward brows. So a man's brow kind of comes down a little bit more forward. If you have a look at this picture it explains that. Women's brows tend to be more arched and tend to be lifted up a little bit more. Now it's very easy to go from a male to a female uh, brow arch by using Botox and filler. Um, you can lift the edge of the brow and also um, an aged brow can come down slightly. I think that's why Caitlin looks younger than Bruce. I think the work that's been done has lifted the eyebrows and has rejuvenated a little bit, for, little bit more. So what do you think about Bruce's transformation to Caitlyn Jenner. What do you think she's had done? Put your comments and questions below. I'm Dr. Paul Monsanja from Amara Aesthetics based in Dublin on Merrion Square and also on Hardy Street in London. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.